come back again, this time with the topic of rationality. You do know that in school, when we were taught biology, I remember the first sentence that came across was, man is a rational animal. Oh well, look around you. How much of rationality are you seeing? Terrorism, mayhem, war, countries trying to wrest lands from other countries, countries interfering in other countries. Well, this is at the international level. It's not very good at the national level as, as well. There are uh, funny kinds of struggles going on between the political parties. Less attention is paid to citizens and more to themselves. There is also a problem at the lower level of the family. We do a lot of acts which really are very, very irrational. And how does this irrationality come about? Yes, they are driven by unreasonable emotions. So why are we so unreasonable? Why do animals tend to act better than we do? We're supposed to have a brain. Why aren't we using it? Why are we committing and wasting precious resources, precious energy on these irrational acts? They are driven by greed. They're driven by unnecessary wounds. They're driven by um, acts of uh, complete uh, degrade degradation and deteriorating behavior is not making our life better. Interfering in other people's personal businesses. You look around you, it's going on all the time. Nobody allows you to stay in peace. You don't have to do anything for somebody to make your life unstable. This is because we are not living on the principle of absolute correct. Absolute correct will help you to go away from this world of dualism where everything is so relative. Your correct may not be my correct. Therefore, we have to go to what is known as the all-time correct, which will be good for you, good for me, and good for everybody. This is the only way balance can be restored. These unnecessary acts of irrationalism, which are actually tending on extremist policy, is not helping the individual at all. It does not bring growth. It does not sustain the present system. Rules are being broken. There is extensive corruption. Why are the systems in place if we don't want to follow them? Take a simple act of person parking outside under the no parking bar. It's hilarious. If I were to go and ask him not to do it, you know, the response I get, it's none of your business. I'm on the road, why are you worried? And if I say out of the authorities, you know what they say. I'll call anybody. So there is a general disrespect of authority because authority is not working properly. They are not following the rules themselves. So why do they expect citizens to follow them? All oh, this is not helping. Let us go and take a step back. Let us think about how we can instill rationality which is so inbuilt in our system as a human being. Bring it out, apply it, use it, so not only your own life will be better, you will be making other people's lives better, and the environment in general will improve to a more positive kind, where everybody benefits. We have to do this quickly, because the time of irrationalism that we are seeing around us is only leading to destruction and it will land up on your doorstep sometime and you will not be able to do anything about it. Think about it. Work on it. Ultimately, it's individual responsibility which will bring about change. Let's not bother about systems. Let's not bother about associations. Groups of people are not working anymore. Every individual has to make the effort. Let's start doing it, not tomorrow, not today, yesterday. Thank you. Come back again. Don't forget to visit my blog. See you. Bye.